Hello everyone, VJNZ32 back again. Hope everyone's doing well today. We have another review for you. It is the first edition abstract playing cards. Which is from Zach Hatton. Let's check it out. Alright, so this is the abstract playing cards, which is basically made for cardists and more. It's by Zach Hakemi. Hope that's how I pronounce it. With abstract art elements, it's all about angles and spacing and geometrics. It's on a two linen B9 finish in stock by Carter Munde. And features bold colors and shape and 45 degree angles throughout. French says abstract point cards, it is basically a matte stock. And you see the details on the sides, the angles, and everything, the colors. It says abstract point cards on top. And the bond says concept and creator Zach Hakimi. Design concept by Gart, I guess that is, and abstract. A little bit hard to read with the multicolors on there. And in the back, looks like that, no seal. Here it says again, uh, shuffle me with four pips. We will indeed shuffle it <laughs> at some point in time, I'm sure. Inside, you get an ad card. There you go. It is, in fact, Gart, who is the designer and concept guy. And also Zach Hakimi. That's apps like point cards. 3,000 decks made, limited edition, supposedly, with 3,000. <laughs> and, whoop. And you get this. It's a thank you all. This is the name of, I guess, a bunch of people who backed the project on Kickstarter. I guess it was on. You get a point card. And there's a bad design. Lots of shapes and colors and 45 degree angles and geometrics. Pretty cool. The Joker features more of that. Lots of colors. Very interesting. Ace of Spades. Looks like that. Again, a bunch of shapes and colors. Hearts and Diamonds. Almost a pink color. You do get big pips on all of the cards. Not a huge fan of the clubs, but it's not terrible, I suppose. And the court cards. They feature different figures. Just Basically made up of different shapes and pieces and colors like collages. You can see the faces in there real closely. Well, some of them look more like birds than people. <laughs> uh, I suppose. <laughs> very colorful. Uh, the queens, very repetitive. Actually, all the cards are very repetitive. All the kings basically look the same. The queens and the jacks, they just have different colors, shapes and whatnot. But overall, the figure is the same. So that's a little bit disappointing. And the number cards, nice custom pips. And interesting oriented, if you will. And that is that. Uh, overall, nice stock and finish. I promised we would shuffle it. Shuffles nicely. <laughs> um, handles pretty nicely. Pointed by Carter Moody on the great stock and finish. If you haven't tried, it's worth checking out. Or if you get this deck or another deck, this one may not be everyone's cup of tea, which is totally understandable. Cards still like it though. Uh, it's available for most card and magic shops. I think it's pretty cool. I will say 8 out of 10, I think. Let me know what you think. Comment, subscribe, and see you next time. More. Thanks for watching.